Hi, my name is Marnie Blewett and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute in Melbourne. What got me excited about biology was to work out how it is that an organism can function and how it is that you can have something that starts off as a single cell fertilised egg develop into an embryo and then into an adult that functions perfectly well. And from my point of view that all starts at the DNA. So at the moment I find this a really surreal kind of question because I'm pregnant and I'm realising that this little baby that's growing inside me, you know, originated as a sperm and an egg and somehow there was sufficient information to direct this whole complex change to bring about what's the development of an embryo and that will be a human in the end. One of the fascinating things with epigenetics is that it's not just important in development, the development of a normal organism or a normal human, but it's also important when it goes wrong. We now understand that in instances like cancer, it can sometimes be that epigenetics has gone wrong rather than it being a genetic problem. The model system that I use to study epigenetics is called X and activation. So women have two X chromosomes, men have only one. And we know that for the human female to be functional and healthy, we only need to use one of those two X chromosomes. And so the second one um, is completely inactivated and is not used within the cell. It's a tremendous honour to receive the L'Oreal Fellowship. I feel extremely proud and privileged to have won this award. The L'Oreal Fellowship um, comes at a perfect time. I'm due on the 14th of September and a couple of weeks before that I'll go on maternity leave. And what happens is the L'Oreal Fellowship will pay for an extra pair of hands in the lab, so somebody else will be my pair of hands in the lab. And then when I return to work we'll pay for childcare. So this is a fantastic opportunity and something that, that is not available through any other mechanism. What I'd like to achieve within the lifetime of my research is to have found out some new players and understand how the mechanism works. And then if we can understand that, we can begin to design targeted therapies to fix the epigenetic mistakes that have been made during cancer.